This story is called Ish, and it is by Peter H. Reynolds. He did the words and the pictures. If you have been doing your reading work this week, you know that in our reading book, we had a story called The Dot. It was written and illustrated by the same author, Peter H. Reynolds. And in The Dot, we heard um, about Vashti drawing, not liking the drawings, and then suddenly figuring out that anything could become something to be proud of, even a dot. So in this book, Ish, we're going to think um, about what the lesson is in the story. Ramon loved to draw. Any time, anything, anywhere. One day, Ramon was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother, Leon, leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. What is that? he asked. Ramon could not even answer. He just crumbled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Ramon. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Ramon put his pencil down. I'm done. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Ramon sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Ramon raced off after Marisol, up the hall and into her room. He was about to yell, but he fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at the crumpled gallery. This is one of my favorites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Ramon said, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish, she exclaimed. Vase-ish? Ramon looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's walls and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Ramon once again drew and drew the world around him. Making an ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his journals. Tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, Afternoon-ish, fish-ish, sun-ish. Ramon realized he could draw ish feelings too. Peace-ish, silly-ish, excited-ish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poem-ish. Ponder, pond, ponder, dream, yonder, pond, pond, yond, yond, gleam, wander. Ramon. One spring morning, Ramon had a wonderful feeling. 
It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawlings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. And Ramon lived ishfully ever after. So think about what happened in this story. Ramon loved to draw until somebody made fun of him for it. Then he did not enjoy drawing anymore. He thought everything he made had to be perfect. That changed when his little sister liked his drawings. And she said they don't have to be perfect, but they look like something. So Ramon started using those letters I-S-H-ish -ish, to mean close to something. So he said it was house-ish. It looked close to a house. Or he was drawing uh, feelings silly-ish, something that looked silly or made him feel silly. And Ramon learned that not everything had to be perfect all the time. And then he was happy again. <laughs>